Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. This is a segment that runs every single Monday and I bring you the latest to let you know what's going on energetically and help you to navigate your way through the rest of the week. So this is the weekly angel guidance from the 25th of June to the 1st of July. Do you believe we're in July already? Oh my god. So if this is your first time watching, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Monday, which is this segment, Weekly Angel Guidance, and Thursday. So Thursday's all based around more self-love infused and law of attraction. So that totally floats your boat. I highly recommend that you hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video, because that would be amazing. And we're getting so close to 20,000 beautiful MK Love fam. What? I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Not that numbers define anything, but I think the growing sense of community and what we, our beautiful MK Love fam, stand for, like learning to love ourselves, flaws and all, despite all the crap that we've been through, you know, like following our intuition and manifesting our heart's true desires. So we're on a beautiful journey together and I'm so excited. I've had such a fabulous morning, by the way. If you haven't been following me on Instagram, I highly recommend that you do because this morning I basically um, told you about this new fabulous song that I've been listening to, which is um, Champion. I almost forgot it. Champion from Carrie Underwood featuring Ludacris. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. So yeah, I'll have a link in the description for you. Link to our MK Love um, Spotify playlist. It's actually in our Anthems playlist because I just love it. Anyways, it's perfect for releasing the throat chakra before I film these videos. So without further ado, let's get into the theme of what's going on this week in regards to the phases of, of the moon. So we're already going to be getting the week in the trusting phase of the moon. This is the gibbous moon and your affirmation is, I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. No matter what you go through, everything is going going perfectly for you. I know that sometimes when like things get a little bit hairy and you're like, I don't understand why this is happening. Instead of saying, why is this happening? You could say, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, thank you, and what is the lesson that I need to know? Then, oh my goodness, on Thursday, we move into the full moon in six degrees, Capricorn. And your affirmation is, I release anything that no longer serves my highest good. This is a really beautiful time and this is exactly why I created my guided meditation called Forgiveness Heals, which is in my shop for $9.99 Australian dollars. And I created it to help me personally release some things that are like weighing really hard, like heavy on my heart chakra. and. I've had the most beautiful reviews. I'll just pop them on the screen right now. So let's just go through the reading. But if this is something that totally resonates with you and you're ready and you are willing to either forgive yourself or to forgive someone who has hurt you, then this is a really powerful week. You can forgive it really at any time, but it is most powerful and it's supercharged by the moon. Usually it involves moonlight, the beach, crystals, burning stuff, crying. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to today's reading. All right, so I'm using the Shadowscapes Tarot. This is the only deck that I've been using. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a giveaway for my other decks. I'm just going to send them to you guys. Um, I'll be doing that in the... Probably the receiving phase of the moon. I think that's when I'll probably send them. So that will be coming up very shortly. So make sure you are following me on Instagram. Anyways, without that four minute intro, let's see what we need to know. Oh, by the way, this is just a general reading. So if you're brand new to watching this video, just take from this what feels right for you. The way that you will know that is something is gonna like hit your heartstrings and you'll be like, oh, God damn it, I know I need to do this. Or maybe by the end of the reading, there'll be something that will stick in your subconscious and that's going to be your message as to what you need to work through for this week. Remember, it's about trusting and it is about releasing. All right, angels. What do my beautiful MK Love Fam need to know? Oh, we've got the Hierophant card. We had this last week. Okay. 
This card is really beautiful. This is like wisdom. This is like tradition. This is like being deeply rooted in your foundations. This is like higher knowledge. This is like reconnecting back to your intuition. Like what is it telling you to do? This could be like, maybe if you're unsure, then maybe this is you find seeking out a mentor of some sort to help coach you in the direction in which you need. You can do things by yourself and that is totally fine. But if you want like accelerated help, then that's when a coach, a mentor, a teacher, um, I don't know, how does this look like for you? But I feel like this is a time for you to, to really dig deep and to find your solid foundations and to really like grasp onto things that maybe you've put to the side and you know, it came up last week and you have been thinking about it or maybe it was the week before, I can't remember. It was recently anyway. And maybe this came up and you didn't, actually address it completely or maybe there was a different aspect in which you addressed you know for me i have been going back to yoga to reconnect back with my body my mind and my soul last week's reading was all about finding that inner strength and my inner strength comes from my mental strength which comes from yoga which kind of encompasses all the delicious goodness that makes me feel good yoga is that one thing that i'm like it just makes me feel amazing and ooh, I just saw something else. He, this tree, which is a man, I just see him as like deep wisdom. That's how I see him. And he's got an eye here, which is like the third eye is open, which is the intuition receiving messages from your angels. You know, this could be like in numbers. This I know a lot of you have been sending me pictures of car number plates and you're and like you've been on the road and all of a sudden you you stop for a second and there's like eight 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 nine 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 one 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 two two two, you know? Like that's incredible. Anyway, so I see that he's very focused and he's not like swayed by other like have a look he's got his finger like looking at an animal I don't know I can't work out what animal that is but he's just like just allowing this animal to be <sighs> what else do I see I just see him as like the giver of wisdom I see him pure positive energy He's been around for a while, so he has experienced a lot. A lot could be a lot of hurt, a lot of trauma, a lot of really beautiful times, but he has worked out the true, true beauty of what makes him happy. He realizes that materialistic possessions serve you for like a second and you get that little hit of dopamine and you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then all of a sudden you go back into like reality and you're like, I don't feel good about myself. Okay, let's get clarity. Whoa, that was a big explanation for the Herifin. So this is a major life transformation. This is number five to, uh, out of the uh, major arcanas. Five representing massive change, transformation, growth. That's a really beautiful card. I just feel like it's wisdom. Oh my goodness, we have the devil card. Didn't we have this last week too? I think we did. So a lot of the energies are still continuing on, but we did have the trusting phase of the moon last week. That was on Sunday. So maybe more of that is trans transferring through to this week. So that's fabulous that we have two of the same. The devil card is like harnessing the fear. That's, that's what I always bring it back to. You know, the devil is like this negative self-talk or these negative people around you, people that are bringing you down. Most likely it's yourself because you can get pretty much caught up in this spiral of like thoughts and sometimes it can be really difficult to get out of those situations. And maybe that's when you need to seek like a mentor, a teacher. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't have the skills or the strategies or maybe you don't have the willpower to continuously work through that and you need somebody to help guide you through and that's exactly where I come in if you need that extra guidance and you need to be willing to do the work because there's a lot of work that I'll give you <laughs> which is what I'll be working on more so as um, my coaching business launches I do have one session it's a one hour intensive transformation um, 
session, but one session is really not enough, but it could be enough to get you started. Depends on where you are. But I also offer private angel readings too. So maybe this will be more specific as to your own situation. So yeah, I feel like this is breaking free of the fear. It's interesting because I looked into the astrology of this um, and I was looking at astrologyking.com and his title actually um, for the full moon was all about breaking free, which he actually said, I have some notes here, that it's actually quite, could be quite intense time for you. Um, I'm not going to go into the astrology of it. Um, the full moon uh, will, can make you feel sad, guilty, hesitant, fearful, restricted, or confined. Relationship problems, cold emotions, negative behavior problems, and bad habits could make your life more difficult. But at the same time, you will want to break free of such limiting factors. And I love how astrology and tarot like links together without being an... Uh, an astrologer, I can link into the universal energies and I love that my readings always match up. So I feel like this is breaking free of what no longer serves you. So what anthem just came into your head just then? I just heard, I want to break free. I want to break free from dun, dun, dun. I don't know the words. Dun, 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 dun. I don't need you. God knows. God knows I want to break free. I'm falling in love. Oh my god. I have seen that musical We Will Rock You five times when I lived in London. Oh man, so good. This one. Oh no joke. <laughs> this is coming up again. This is the inner strength, the lion. Oh my god. Dude. I have shuffled these. I have shuffled these before I started. This is crazy. These are three of the same cards that we had last week. Let me just make an effort to do more shuffling because, you know, this has happened in a private client's reading. On her second reading, we got basically the same cards as the first reading. I was like, okay. Ah, oh, okay. So it's finding that wisdom. Who do you find your wisdom from? Releasing the fear, breaking free of any limitations, breaking free of anything or anyone that doesn't serve your highest good. How can you break free? Yeah, you could release this. Purchase my forgiveness heals, guided visualization. It's 30 minutes and 33 seconds of delicious goodness. In it, you're gonna hear me cry because, you know, when you break free, it can be emotional and it is okay to feel the pain. You know, I cry all the time, happy tears or sad tears, but I'm constantly cleansing myself. I always say that crying is the perfect way to heal, no, what did I say? Crying is a way to cleanse the soul and heal the soul from the inside out. I'm just shocked, guys, that we have the inner strength, the strength cut. I love this. Okay, let's get some clarity. Clarity on the Hierophant, the Devil, and the Strength card. So that's three major arcana. So this is such massive. And I feel like we're going to be going into the eclipse season in July. So I feel like this is a time that's like preparing us for our next chapter. Because we had the eclipses in the beginning of the year. Oh my god. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Did we have this last week? I don't think we did, but I think we had it recently as well. So the Queen is beautiful, nurturing, very motherly, uh, like a protector. And she is in she's in a tree. So there's a lot to do with like stability. This could be stability with like your living situation, stability in home relationships. And the pentacles is, is all about abundance in whatever shape or form that looks like for you. What comes up for you when you see this one? I just feel so excited, but I feel like in order to receive the queen of pentacles, be able to get to a position where you're like, I have been through a lot, but I have come out stronger. And you know, that totally, totally fits in with that song, um, Champion from Carrie Underwood. 
I'm gonna link the playlist because you guys have to listen to it. It's so flipping good. It is so good. And you're getting to this stage. You're going to be like this champion. You're going to like rise above. You're going to rise above everything, especially this, because this could be hurt. This could be deep hurt. This could be deep emotional trauma. This could be trauma from your childhood, trauma from a relationship. Maybe this is a pattern. Maybe this is a cycle you've been caught in and you haven't broken free from that. But you need to harness this inner strength. This inner strength is going to set you free. How do you how do you do this? I don't know. What does self-love look like for you? To me, I've spoken about yoga, <laughs> meditation, sunshine. It's amazing what sunshine does for the soul. Oh my gosh. Watching a sunset. Like honestly, how many of you watched a sunset recently? Yesterday, Peter and I went to, um, we found a new sunset place. Oh, it's so beautiful. And um, I'll show you on Insta stories one day. And we we're just sitting watching it and I was just like, we had no phones, I left them in the car and I was like, this is blissful. Like this is so blissful. And when you're in that state of a higher vibration, you have no resistance. And that's when all your desires come towards you so much quicker. The abundance is coming. It's coming. Okay, what else do we need to work on for this week, angels? Okay, there's a lot. Okay. This comes up every single full moon. Is it? Yeah, the three of swords. So this is you being hurt. This is you either allowing someone to hurt you, or this is you doing this to yourself. This could be physically, mentally, emotionally. But these situ I always find these situations beautiful because when there's pain, you learn a lesson and you say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you rise above, you rise above and you set yourself free. You know, you don't have to continue to feel like this all the time. You have the ability to heal from any situation. You have the ability. And if you are willing and you are able and you are going to be consistent, then you can rise above and you can become the queen of pentacles. You can have everything that you have ever wished for, whether this is a fabulous hot body, because I've been getting a lot of messages about that on Instagram, which is crazy because I haven't really spoken. Maybe you guys are saying a lot more now that I'm talking more so about my exercise routine. Re I was going to say regime and routine in one. <laughs> regime whatever you want to call it okay so this is healing this is forgiveness isn't that beautiful that these cards all came up when it's around the forgiveness the releasing time of the moon there's always it's it, oh, i just love this time it's just a beautiful time to heal you know because we all go through stuff all of us Ooh, okay, so we've got the Seven of Swords. Okay. Swords is like challenges, problems. What do you need to do to like rise above? This could be, I don't know, there could have been opportunities that have like made you, I would also say like, there could have been opportunities where your darkness came out because he's like dark. He's got like a, what is he wearing? He's got like, he's like half and half. It's like he's, he's seen darkness, but he's not fully there because I feel like he can rise above this darkness. Like it hasn't engulfed all of him. It's just taken part of him. And I feel like maybe that's where this hurt is coming from. It's like, yeah, you've hurt, but you know, you don't need to hurt yourself more. I feel like this is darkness and now I feel heavy on the chest. It's like you can rise above and I just see the moon behind it. It's like the moon has just such healing powers and I feel like this is the perfect time for you to heal the, that darkness during the, the full moon. So the full moon is, I'll just pop it on the screen right now. It's going to be on June 27th or the 28th, depending on where you are in the world. So if you're in LA, that's 9.54 PM. New York, that is on the 28th at 12.54 AM. London, 
Dubai, 54 a.m., Delhi, 10.24 a.m., Brisbane, 2.54 p.m., and Auckland at 4.54 p.m. So this is the time, or as closer to the full moon, that you can possibly write a list of everything that has hurt you. You know, if you felt like you have forgiven, but then you're like, you still feel a little bit of anger, there's different levels of forgiveness. And maybe this is an opportunity for you to dig deeper because there's things that always come up. This could be a colleague, this could be a partner, this could be a family issue that you're working towards. This could be this anger that you feel for yourself because you didn't accomplish what you wanted to, you know? But just say, I am where I am. Everything is working out for me. I surrender to the process. How do you surrender? Forgiveness and self-love. I think Miley Cyrus has a song called Love and Forgiveness. I think it was in my MK Love playlist on Spotify, but I deleted it because I didn't love, love, love the song. Okay, let's get some more clarity. Whew. Lots and lots of healing this week. Lots and lots of healing. Lots and lots of healing. So I feel like the Hierophant, the Devil, and the Strength card is in the trusting phase. It's like trusting that everything is working out for you, no matter what is going on. And then I feel like the, the releasing phase of the full moon is about finding this, this Queen of Pentacles, releasing anything that serves you so you feel peace. Maybe the Queen of Pentacles is finding inner peace. You know, I just looked at the screen. It said 22, 22. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Inner peace. Two, two is relationships. Okay, the three of swords is releasing. Yeah, a lot to do with releasing and forgiveness. Okay, angels, what else do we need to know for this week? June the 25th. Thank you very much. To the first. Okay, it's all about judgment. This, I feel like we're in a cycle. These cards continuously come up. And what's beautiful is it's an opportunity for us to be like, okay, it came up and we're going to continue to work through it again. So the judgment is like the judgment with... We had this last week. I'm pretty sure we had this last week. This could be the judgment of other people around you. Maybe I, interesting. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I've always looked straight at this lady here, but look at in this little midst down here. Th these are like people like looking up to her. Maybe they're judging you in a higher light. Maybe these people are, 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 are below you because they want to be like you and they are just sending you, oh, this could be taken two ways, but I see it as a positive thing this time. I see that these people are like saying, yes, I'm so proud of you. Maybe people are inspired by what you are doing. Maybe they're inspired that each full moon, you go out to the beach, you get your crystals, you get some salt water and you cleanse them under the moonlight. You write your letter. You dig a hole in the sand, you light it on fire and you just cry as you release that. Maybe people are looking up to you. I'm getting goosebumps, so I'm on the right track. Maybe this is what you, maybe you haven't done this, I don't know, I just feel like people are looking up to you. Which is crazy because I've never, ever, 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 ever felt that with this card. But I feel like, like there's so many butterflies around you. <gasps> oh, and blue butterflies is Jessie, my dog. She passed away like two years ago, but she still comes to visit me to this day. And this is like singing your praises, singing that I just feel like this is beautiful. Like, why did I always feel like maybe the word judgment in the card doesn't really match this picture this time, but this time I feel like this is beautiful. She's like singing her praises. She's playing the trumpet, which is pure positive energy. Oh, she's on a higher level a higher level of consciousness and she's just she's released all of these blockages and now she's free and she's maybe she's free from all the judgment because she's like it, there was a lyric in um that song i am invincible unstoppable the what is it called champion from carrie underwood and there was um something there it's like you can knock me down but i'll get up again i am invincible and yeah, you are invincible because you are beautiful. You are pure positive energy. Like I said last week, you were born into this world with pure positive energy. You were already perfect. And along the way, you guys just forgot who you are. And yeah, things come up. People are rude to you. Yeah, it's kind of like saying like, F you, I am amazing. You know, I'm not dealing with this bullshit. You know, I'm not dealing with it any longer because I have the power to change my life. And then I heard that song... Um, 
Unwritten from Natasha Beddingfield. Crazy because I just added that into Manifest Romance playlist, my MK Love Manifest Romance playlist. I know there's a lot of you that are single because I I asked you on Instagram stories yesterday. By the way, I'm filming this on Friday the 22nd. Oh, another tutu. Yeah, this is relationships. Releasing these relationships. The relationship with yourself or the relationship with other people. A lot of major arcanas. Four major arcanas. Oh my goodness. And now we got the two of swords. Yeah. I don't like this one. This one is just sad. But you know what? The darkness can leave. The judgment can go. How do you fix everything? Love. Look up. See the love. Change your perspective. Just look up. Just look up. What if you... Because last week we had the hangman. You know? And I've always said for such a long time, which I got the saying, love heals all blockages from Dr. Master Ji Gonsha. Watch my Hawaii vlogs. You can see the playlist of that when I went to Hawaii and I spent two weeks um, on the island of Oahu training with Dr. Master Ji Gonsha and just learning about healing and soul mind body transplant and all the crazy stuff that happens over there. But the energy just felt good and that healing is, you, you know, stop fighting stop fighting just surrender that's what i see just surrender just surrender let's get one last card oh well that just came out super quick we got the hermit card okay the hermit card is just you need to retreat during this healing week i want you to just retreat i don't want you to be spending extra time with family and friends i want you to plan your self-love practices time because you need to really cleanse yourself this week you really need to schedule in your own time if some people say to me mel i don't have time for self-love and i was like well you need double the time because if you don't make the time when the shit hits the fan you're gonna find the time you know my mom has been sick this week. You know, there's been things where I'm like, Mom, you just need to slow down. She's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and on the balsamic moon, she just kept going, 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 doing things in the garden. And then she got so sick that she had to take time off work. I'm like, just flow with the seasons of the moon. Not the seasons, the phases of the moon. And just pay attention to what's going on. You know, you may have tears this week. Great, cry them out. Send me those pictures where you're upset. Yes, because I'll be like, I'm so proud of you. You cleanse up, buddy, and you're going to feel fabulous. Okay, one last card because I'm running out of time. My camera's going to cut out. It's almost 29 minutes. Ah! Okay, what do we need to know, angels? One last card for the week. Yep, one last card. June the 25th to July the 1st. Okay. Oh, wow. Ah! I don't even know which one now. Okay, thank you. There it is. Ah, the Four of Pentacles. Stability. Four represents stability. Sharing that abundance with other people. This could be working hard and being proud and like holding what you've got to your chest. <sighs> Anyways, my love, I hope this has helped you, given you some clarity to work towards this week. This is a lot to do with healing. This is a lot with like <sighs> feeling this, like you're free of judgment. How do you get free of judgment? You have a lot of work to do. You have a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. And I know that you're going to get through this. Surrender. Surrender. Please take time to heal. What do I feel like is this week all about? I think this is break free of judgment. I don't know. I'm going to think of a title for this one. But I feel like this card is like rise above. It's just, it's just a really beautiful, beautiful week. And I really hope that this helps you this week. If you've had any clarity whatsoever, can you comment to me in the description box below? Not the description box. In the comment section below, what card stood out for you the most? To me, I feel like the whole week can be summarized in you finding, you know, breaking free of judgment. Maybe I call it break free. And you're gonna get there. You have a lot to work through, but it's okay. Say this, I am where I am and it's okay. It's okay what has ever happened to me because I have the power to choose higher vibrational thoughts. I have the power to heal. I have the power to seek out mentors that totally can help me along my journey. 
who is this for you? If you need help, please, what I highly recommend, the best place to start is with my Forgiveness Heals Guided Meditation. If you've purchased this before, because I know a lot of you have, listen to this at the time of the full moon. It's the most powerful. And listen to it throughout the phase of um, the, the full moon, which is when we're releasing these blockages. So this week, my loves, it is, oh, can I go this way? Yeah, it's all about trusting and releasing. By the way, these cards are created by my beautiful friend, Joe from the moon underscore journal, who just hit 20,000 beautiful followers on her Instagram, which I'm so flipping proud about. Oh my gosh, just love her. I know a lot of you have purchased her stuff because I've seen you post it on your own feeds. I'm like, yes, she's just beautiful. Okay, breaking free, so you're free of judgment. I just feel like this is about breaking free. I want to break free, I want to break free from, I don't know, I need the words to this song. God knows, God knows I want to break free. Okay, I think that's it. I hope this has helped you. I really hope it's helped you. If this is your first time watching, please hit that red subscribe button and join our beautiful MK Love fam. You know, we're always at 20K. What? Anyways, my love, I will see you on Thursday for another Law of Attraction episode. But have an amazing week. If anything further comes up for you, please let me know on Instagram or in the comments section below. As always, I'll be responding to you from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So that's the first hour in which this video is live. Anyways, I love you, I love you, and I'll see you on Thursday. Goodbye!